Hello and welcome to the demonstration video for the COVID Information Commons Undergraduate Student Paper Challenge. My name is Helen Yang, I'm a student at Columbia University and a member of the COVID Information Commons project team. The COVID Information Commons, or KIC, is an open website to facilitate knowledge sharing and collaboration across COVID-19 research efforts, in particular, the over 900 rapid response research or rapid projects and other COVID-related projects that the U.S. National Science Foundation, or NSF, has funded to date. This challenge is a unique opportunity for you as an undergraduate student to learn about and contribute your own insights to the multifaceted and cutting-edge research being conducted on the impacts of the pandemic. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can leverage the resources available at covidinfocommons.net to develop a paper on a topic related to COVID research that interests you. I'll share some overall information about the challenge now. Here's the main webpage for the challenge, which you can navigate to from the main menu of the KIC website under Opportunities and Resources. You'll find information including key dates, requirements, and frequently asked questions. Please check back to this page and fill out the participation form by February 15th, 2021 to keep updated with new information and resources. As explained here, your challenge is to write a four to five page double spaced paper on a topic related to COVID research, leveraging the tools available on the COVID Information Commons website. The scope is very open to give you the opportunity to explore the different issues being investigated by scientists around the world and apply your unique skills and knowledge to delve deeply into a topic that genuinely interests you and contributes to the current scientific discourse. Under the Example Approaches tab are some resources you may find helpful while writing your paper. A good place to start is the Kick Research Explorer, a tool that uses machine learning to visualize trends among the funding awards for NSF COVID-related research projects. A full user tutorial video for this tool is available on the KIC website under Opportunities and Resources and then Webinar Videos. The Research Explorer tool itself can be accessed from the homepage of the KIC website or under KIC Search Tools in the menu. I'll give you a brief walkthrough of this tool and some of the features that you can use to find a topic to write about and develop your paper. When you click into the tool, the default view on this page is a tree map which shows awards as cells clustered together based on common keywords. For example, you can see from the size of this cluster that quite a bit of research is being done on human behavior, perhaps related to risk perception and public policy. Clicking the gears in the top right corner will open the settings for this map, where you'll be able to understand and customize the view. You can see that currently, the awards within each cluster are labeled by effective date, or the date when the project is set to begin. This information might be helpful in analyzing how research has changed in focus over the course of the pandemic. Maybe you're also interested in analyzing how research has differed according to region. To look into that, you could change label by effective date to label by state. To analyze region and effective date at the same time, you could set the colors of the clusters to be set according to effective date, but the label according to state. You can similarly adjust the size of the cells according to different criteria. Right now, the bigger the cell, the higher the similarity or relevancy of the awards to the keywords at the top of the cluster. If you click on a cell, the information about the award it represents will appear on the right. For example, you can see when the project started and is anticipated to end. You can see which institution is sponsoring it, and you can read the abstract, which gives a brief summary of the background and goals of the project. If you'd like to see more or less information about each award, click on Fields on the top right. For example, we can show the institution leading the project as a tag, and we can increase the maximum values and character count to show more key terms for each of the fields in a longer abstract. Another way to look at major themes in the awards being granted is through the topological map view instead of the tree map view, which you can adjust at the top of the page. Here, you may draw conclusions about the questions scientists are asking and those that they aren't asking. Zoomed out, you can see the keywords most common among the research projects. You can zoom in to see less common terms appear. Again, you can adjust how awards are displayed by clicking on the gears, and you can change how much information appears about each award by clicking on fields. A useful feature on whichever map view you're using is the query box at the left. Here, you can use Boolean algebra to add terms to filter your results. For example, if you type and education at the end of the existing query and click analyze, you'll only receive results with the term education somewhere in the award information. If you'd like to see projects related to education or STEM learning or both, for example, you can type in or education or STEM. 
If you'd like to look at projects related to education and STEM, or projects related to education and the humanities, you can type in and education and open parentheses STEM or humanities, close parentheses, using those parentheses to make sure results contain one or both of STEM or humanities, but not necessarily either one specifically. Another resource you can use is the National Science Foundation or NSF Directorate search located on the KIC homepage, which links to the NSF website itself. The NSF COVID-related awards are organized by scientific discipline under the directorates listed here. Clicking on one of these icons will take you to the NSF award search database. Let's click on social, behavioral, and economic sciences, for example. You could choose to start with a discipline related to your undergraduate major. Browsing these awards by directorate may give you some initial ideas for what you'd like to write about. You can click on any award that interests you, and you'll find further details about the project. You can also filter your search results on the NSF awards page. You can look at awards for certain states or add keywords to your search, for example. If you want to save any of the search results, you can export them as a CSV or Excel file. The KIC website houses a more user-friendly interface for the over 900 NSF COVID-related awards called the NSF Awards MPI database. Here, you can easily search by keyword and filter your results. For example, say you're interested in how the pandemic has affected supply chains. Typing in supply chain into the search bar brings up 28 results. You can filter these further by director and division, for example. Perhaps you'd like to see how the pandemic has affected the supply chains for different industries. Clicking into any of these awards again provides full details about the project. A unique feature of this database is that you can click on the name of the principal investigator or a PI, the researcher leading the project, which will take you to an individual page with some information about them and their work. Some researchers have provided additional information about their projects, such as their lab websites, their personal ORCID IDs, which will take you to a list of their publications, or articles about the progress of their projects. Feel free to use this information as a starting point to learn more about specific research. To save your search results for further analysis, going back to the database main page, you can again download your results as a CSV file. The Research Explorer tool, the NSF Directorate Search, and the NSF Awards and PI database are the three main resources available on the CAKE site for filtering and learning about the COVID-related projects funded by the NSF. We encourage you to explore each of these and use them to help develop your research. To conclude this video, I'll note a few other resources available on the site that you may find useful. On the Meet the Researchers page, you can watch short lightning talks or read articles by PIs on their research. These lightning talks are from our free monthly KIC community webinars, which you are welcome to register for from the events page. Under the Opportunities and Resources menu item, you'll also find resources from institutions and organizations around the world that you are free to consult as you write your paper. Under data sets, for example, you can find data on a variety of topics organized by continent. Feel free to analyze data about a certain issue and write your paper about your findings. You can also browse publications reporting on the latest research breakthroughs and look at guides and references for research and policy that federal agencies and other organizations have published. You are free to use any other reliable resources you find as well. Just make sure you cite them completely and accurately. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you have a few more ideas about topics you'd like to investigate and resources you can use. Again, please check back to the challenge webpage and fill out the participation form by February 15th, 2021 for updated information, including dates of upcoming mentoring hours when you'll be able to meet with researchers studying COVID-19 to help you develop your papers. If you have any questions about these resources or the challenge that have not been covered, please don't hesitate to email info at covidinfocommons.net. We can't wait to read all of your insights. Best of luck.